Hi, have you ever tried using AI to do real research, but all you end up with are shallow answers and no memory of your last session? Yeah, same here. Well, Google just dropped four updates to Notebook LM that are actually game changers. The first one lets you upload the equivalent of eight full-length books, and then you can ask questions across all of them. The second one recalls every conversation you've had, which was not possible before with Notebook LM, so that you never lose an insight again. And the third feature, it actually changes the way Notebook LM responds to you, so the answers are more relevant to you. I've tested these updates uh, in one of my projects, and let me tell you, these updates, they're next level. Let me show you. Hey, it's Chantal, and welcome back to AI for 50 Plus. If you've ever worked on a project with tons of sources, whether it's uh, family history, research, or even something creative, you know how frustrating it is when AI just can't keep up. Well, these Notebook LM updates, they fix a lot of that. I've been putting them to the test in one of my projects, which I call my golden thread. And it's about me learning about these women who reinvented themselves in their midlife through different eras. So it's fascinating and it's much more doable now that all of these updates are in place. So if you're curious about what it looks like in action, and maybe it can help you in your own work, stick around and I'll show you. So first up, size does matter. So here we are here in Notebook LM, and I'm gonna take you to my golden thread uh, notebook. And the first thing, the first update, and it's an important one, is that now Notebook LM has a massive context window and supports up to 1 million tokens. And that's tech talk really to say that it can handle a lot more information. And as I mentioned in the intro, it's to the tune of up to eight full length novels. So what that means is that your source limit doesn't change in the free in the free version like I am. It's 50 sources, but those those sources can be much larger. So, for example, if you're studying a specific novel, you can even upload the novel there and then other sources and then work with that. Or if you're doing uh, research and you want to put some, you know, meta analysis and reports, those documents usually are very large, and now you can do that. So that's uh, update number one, and it's great. It's, it, it gives you a lot more leeway to put the sources that you would want. The second one is deep research. So I'm pointing to it here. In the past, you had a button on top here, if I'm not mistaken, and it was written just explore. And what that did is that Notebook LM went on the web and got some sources to go with uh, the topic that you were studying. Now, it's now this interface here, and you can do some deep research. So if I click here, you can go on deep research. I can't click on them right now because I'm at the... I'm at my limit in terms of, of sources, so it doesn't let me. But I did do some deep research in this notebook, and one of them, I just want to find the question here. Here we go. Which women had their greatest impact after 40, and what helped them get there? So I first put it here uh, in the chat, and it gave me an answer based on the, the sources. But then I took the same question and I put it right here doing deep research and it gave me this great report here. So here you have 10 influ influential women who speak impact occurred in middle age or later. And it starts like it's, it's 200 to 2,500 years. So there's a lot of information and then it gives your report as a source. So it enriches the whole research yet again. So that was awesome. So I did a couple of those. So that's update number two, the capacity now of doing deep research instead of doing more fast research or casual research.
Update number three is that it now automatically uh, save your chat. So you now have a, a history of the conversation. And in the past, that was my biggest headache with Notebook LM. I love it. I use it all the time. But if you ask question, the questions would disappear. It would, as soon as you would refresh or get out of it, work on another notebook and come back, you would not have that record of what you had talked about. So here uh, you can see that there's quite a few questions. There was one question here. I asked another question there another one here and so on so now it's a bit more like chat gpt where there's a recall of what you had chatted about and that of course helps a lot in terms of uh, the ai remembering the context and the ai giving you answers that are more relevant so that's update number three and now for update number four, it's the, the customization of how Notebook LM will answer you. So if you go here at those, those little sliders, you click here and then, yes, it doesn't give you a whole lot to customize it with, but it does give you something. So in this notebook, for example, I chose learning guide because I am learning about these women, but you could do something custom and then be specific as to what you want uh, or how you want them to answer. I could have easily put custom and say, look, I'm trying to learn about these women and I want you to respond to me as if I'm a grade seven student. You can talk about uh, the expertise or the persona of notebook LM. You can ask a specific tone as well. So I've left it at, at learning guide and then the response you can ask for now. I didn't put anything, so I'm assuming it's going to be default, but it could be longer or shorter as well. And then uh, you save it. If this was helpful, you can watch this video about cool ways to use notebook LM. See you next week.